My name is Jean Dunning, and I'm going to talk about House 4, Providence, Rhode Island, 1975 to 1976, a photograph by Francesca Woodman. When we see this photograph, we're looking at a picture that was taken inside an abandoned house. Then you also see in the picture a woman, you see her body, and she's kind of wedged her body in this crevice, this crack that's opened up when the mantelpiece got separated from the wall. There are a lot of things that interest me about this picture. It's photographed in this way where everything is skewed, and that sort of really uh, emphasizes even more than the peeling wallpaper and the cracks in the walls and stuff that this is a house that's falling apart. It's like a house, a house is a structure that we go in inside to protect us, right? So when a house falls apart, it's like that protection feels like it's breaking down. That sense of this distinction and the border between the inside and the outside is breaking down. I think something similar is happening with um, the way we see Francesca Woodman's body here. So she was captured, like the shutter clicked at a moment when she was moving, and so her body is blurred. And so that blurriness suggests a similar kind of breaking down of the borders of her own body that sort of mirrors what's going on in the house. It's like she's trying to merge with the house itself. What does this mean to like wedge herself into this crack that has been created as the house starts to break apart and fall down? So on the one hand, you know, when we feel threatened in any way, um, it's, it's almost like an animal impulse, an instinct. One of the things that we sometimes do is try to find a, an enclosed dark space to curl up in, right? Almost to hide in. I mean, it's, it's like when something bad happens to you and you just feel like you have to go home and curl up under the covers in your bed for a little while, right? And so on the one hand, it almost seems like she's trying to hide, she's trying to protect herself by sort of trying to wedge herself into this crack. But at the same time, I think the fact that she's moving towards the darkness and moving into this crevice that was created by the house breaking down, as opposed to moving towards the light, the outside world, towards the window, also suggests a compulsion almost, or a desire at least, to explore these new dark unknown spaces that are being created when things break down. It, it sort of says something about this idea of losing your sense of self, feeling like you don't have as clear of a grasp of that, of what, what separates you from everything else in the world, what is your own, right? There's this, this sense of wanting to explore this new space you're in, but also at the same time, this contradictory impulse that you want to protect yourself because that's a scary thing. And I think so much about what's going on in this picture sort of speaks to that in all these complicated ways.